Welcome to Collective City. As its name implies, everything is collective in this city. The economy is completely nationalized. There is just one class. As a result, society is very homogenous. The most widespread housing typology is also collective. People are living in endlessly multiplied apartment blocks with minimal spaces. Public space is completely under authority's control. Therefore, individual or meetings of any kind are prohibited. Because of all this, in collective city there is little diversity in terms of lifestyle. But this system is utopian because it is against individuals' needs and it restricts individual freedom. Therefore, society struggles to change this organizational system to a different one. No wonder this community migrates from collective city to Welcome to Self City. In Self City, individuals migrate towards city surroundings where they set up a new kind of organization of their community. Here, each individual builds his own private space from scratch. However, without a strategy to develop community, the absence of planning and random distribution of building plots set chaos to community. Despite the fact that part of these neighborhoods are already inhabited and a lot of building projects are completed, people living there experience difficulties while trying to adapt to the existing environment due to the lack of infrastructure, utilities, public and social spaces, Proximity to commercial and services functions. Because of this, the collective city remains the main source of activities for the residents of the self-city. Thus, these neighborhoods become just an accumulation of private spaces, giving birth to residual rather than public and social spaces. But the lack of spatial coherence, architectural unity, and also the isolated aesthetic character of the houses, unrelated to context, create an unpleasant, messy environment, giving the impression that the residents are not interested in public space, which doesn't even seem to exist. In this type of neighborhood, the only common value all individuals care for seems to be their own individuality, their own private universe. Two natural questions surface. First, where is this excessive individuality coming from? And second, what prevents this community from sharing mutual values which could bring unity and harmony?